Let's assume you think you're experiencing some degree of hearing loss and you're kind of wondering, should I go get my hearing checked? What if I have to wear hearing aids? I've heard they're so annoying, yeah? Have to have fine batteries for them, you forget where you put them, and they make me look old. Let me show you something. Do I look younger now that I've taken my hearing aids out? Well, that's actually silly. As I put them in, what? Does my hair get any whiter than it already is? Do my wrinkles get deeper? No, they don't. That is not a concern, and I'll tell you why. Because the risks of ignoring your hearing loss are much more serious than thinking you're gonna look older if you wear hearing aids. And the first risk is social isolation. We all recognize that loneliness is a very serious risk for mental health. People who are truly lonely are rarely happy. There aren't too many hermits living out there in the forest who are having a good time. How does that connect to hearing? Well, it's very simple. If you're experiencing hearing loss and you're older, and let me make a point about this, from the ages of 65 to 75, it's estimated that a third of the population of that age have some degree of hearing loss. And if you instead make the cutoff from 75 to older, it's more, it's more like half the population. So it's not uncommon, and that kind of hearing loss is irreversible. It happens in the inner ear, it in, is involved with the damage and death of crucial cells for hearing, and hearing aids are really the only good way we have of dealing with that. What's the impact of that? Well, let's say it comes on slowly, you lose some high frequencies first, and you may not even notice those. But eventually, that high frequency hearing loss moves down the frequencies that are the range of human conversation, human voices. So you start to miss little consonants or phrases in a conversation. You think, wow, I, restaurants never used to be this loud. How come I can't hear what's going on at the table? You're starting to miss crucial bits of conversation. Now, Think about that continuing. You miss more and more. Believe me, I've experienced this. It's hard work to listen as carefully as possible to casual conversations around you. At some point, you just start giving up. It's too much work. And then you're really iso starting to isolate yourself. The thing about social isolation is, it's well established in the scientific literature that the more isolated you become, the more you're risking actual cognitive deficits. That is, your brain won't work as well as it used to. Here's reason number two, and it's an extension of cognitive loss, and that is dementia. You may not have associated hearing loss with dementia before, but I can tell you in the last two, two decades or so, the evidence has started to accumulate, so much so that the medical journal, The Lancet, periodically rates all the risks for dementia that you might be able to alter yourself. For instance, high blood pressure. Well, you can take medication to lower your blood pressure. Physical inactivity, that's another risk. Well, get out there, walk, eat properly. There are all these risks that you can lower and they range anywhere from like two to 4% of the total of risks that you can actually work with to avoid dementia. Two to four percent. You know how much hearing loss contributes according to The Lancet? Eight percent. It's one of the biggest risks for dementia. Now it's not really clear what the connection is. It's possible that dementia as a disease syndrome includes hearing loss. And so what you're just seeing with hearing loss is another aspect of dementia. But, and here's a little bit of good news, evidence is starting to emerge that wearing hearing aids dramatically reduces that 8% risk. So it may not be that hearing loss is part of dementia, it may be that the social isolation caused by dementia, where you're not seeing people as often, you're not listening to them, you may be in long-term care, you may not have many visitors. All of that social isolation 
definitely is a risk for dementia and maybe hearing loss is a key part of that. So all I would say to any of you is if you think you're experiencing some early signs of hearing loss, don't be like the rest of the population who apparently take seven years from the time they think they have hearing loss to the time they actually get a hearing test. Get a hearing test now. And no matter how annoying hearing aids might be, and believe me, I've had them for years, I know they can be, that pales in comparison to being able to reduce your risk for dementia.